I mean, it's not like I can climb on my bike and drive one-handed, is it? You know, and carry this thing around town for the rest of my life. Not... What? Oh, for a second. For a brief... Brief second. I'm not saying that I need a heavy machine gun in my life. I'm just saying I'd like one. Yeah. I mean, that's not too ridiculous, is it? Okay, no more stops, no more distractions. Time to meet Hanam. All right, we're in that kind of an area, are we? Hey, got a Mackinaw waiting to be sold. You'll find it at the attached cohorts. Yeah, it's not... It's okay. It's it's large, which is good. Watch out for the turns, because this thing drives like a boat. Yeah, I'm... Got other things to spend my money on at the moment, anyways. Oh. Okay. All right, I guess I'll leave the bike out here then. Fine. Probably a good idea to check. There's Pan Am. Okay. Hello? Hey. Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? Uh... Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? Mm, it's a bit crap. It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. Borrowed. Borrowed. Yeah, borrowed. Um... We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Okay. Have I done something to offend you? Fuck me, you always on the warpath. Only when someone tries to jerk me around. Where the hell is my car? I tell you, and then what? Gonna storm off, handle it all by yourself? That is no concern of yours. None. Uh, relax. To be honest with you, I probably need to relax here as well. But you know what? Listen to me. Listen to me. You need my help, and you'll get it. I mean that. Right after we solve my problem. Fine. Say it. What do you want? Um, gotta get this one guy. Need your help. Hit it. Ooh. Um, yeah. Let's just be up front with her. Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Want to know I can count on you? Are you out of your goddamn mind? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Thought this was mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, the only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Okay, I'm guessing my car isn't going to be good enough. Cars Fine. in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty Bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you chew me yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. Straight nipped my truck in the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Okay, that's a new one on me. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. 
We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Boss! Wait, wait, hey. wait, 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 what? Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. What do you mean Boss, going I behind? Take care of it. I just need Rogue's you to back. Give me a chance. Rogue uh, sent us to meet on. her and. How many times have I moved these I'd help you? her, she'd help me. How this many is. Times have what? I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meet. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, boss. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. I'm over here. I am. Who the hell's Boz? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Six straight. You drive for gang goons. Ooh. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. No, no, I totally get that. It's just I've actually got to pick up a car and it's guarded by that group. Um, what was that about going behind Rogue? What's gotten into you? Give that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. No, I get that. You should try getting one of your own. I'm working on it. So, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. You know, used to ride with nomads too. Truly? I never would have guessed. Yep, backer clan, back in the day. Didn't work out between us, so I landed in Night City. So we have something in common after all. Yeah. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. Right? It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Isn't it always? Yes. Um... Any chance they might help us in Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. All right. Good, let's roll. Get in. Okay. I'm still a teeny tiny bit worried about what Johnny said. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. Is that a problem? For me, no, not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Oh, oh, Screw you. okay, that was rude. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? Mm. I know what that feeling. Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. Goddamn, I can't stand the bitch. Guess you'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was rapping. But seriously? Didn't realize Nash was rapping? No. The sneak forgot to show me his shiv card. Don't you keep track of who's in the area? The rates, right? Until now, they mostly jumped corporate transporters down by Highway 64. I see you know things. No mad blood. I not have known that side of him. So make me laugh. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash and I had a role to play in her game. Her plan. That's it. Rogue's a frigid old bitch. That's the truth. Yeah. Still worried about what Johnny said. 
where exactly are we heading? We're definitely heading way out, aren't we? Right. A lot of wind power out here. Playtime's over! Was that a speed limit sign I saw? I have to wonder how many people obey the speed limit out here. Although she's driving quite... Well, sensibly. I feel like everybody drives way more sensibly than I. Which is probably because that's exactly what happens. We're almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. Okay. Still got neon out here. Guess we let her do the well. talking. Would you look what the cat dragged in? Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Wait, 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 Fuck you wait, two. Uh, hope our little hothead gets the job done. This is from R a Rogue. Okay, she doesn't look, well, seem to unhappy. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Um. Just. Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Uh, I'm t what the- The Raffin screwed me over. I'll get them back, but I need your help. What was going on there? Come with me. We'll thrash them, the four of us. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? That was hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Um... Really could use your help. We could help with the generators, probably. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. Oh, she's laying this on a bit about thick. Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But, but Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear. Then be out of your hair. Okay. I'm just gonna... Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Thanks for the honesty. Oh. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. There's a hey, ripper dog. But before we leave, can I do some shopping? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Okay, she's snippy with everyone, actually. It's not just me, then. Okay. That's a big rifle. Will you help me with this? Oh, uh, wait. What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Oh, uh, okay. Do I, can we not? Can we not? Just can we do a bit of figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? I, she's not in the mood right now, guys. Just give her, give her, give her a, a while. Just gotta get something off the chest, I think. Em. Um, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. 
We, we can hang around for five or ten minutes. Don't mind. I could probably call my car and sell some stuff, maybe. I don't know. I got a lot of guns. These guys probably... So I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Can we not? Can we? Call us sometime. We could just keep an eye on her, V. I will. I will. Put it in the trunk. Yes, miss. Really? We just. He just. I mean, there's a ripper dock and. We can go. Hop in. I'm, I'm hopping. I'm hopping. Uh. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not a part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Um, at the moment, not really, no. Well, no. Haven't been so lucky. I see. Were those two in the army? Scorpion Mitch? Yeah, Panzer Boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer Boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So Rocky Ridge, empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. I hope you don't get annoyed with me, but, um... Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised to change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Alright. Is this where we're going? This seems a little familiar. Okay. We have arrived. I love the way you say that. What do we do? We have arrived. We get ready to greet the Raffins. And we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Okay. Are we scouting separately, or are we scouting together? BD Shack. Let me... Build your future in Rocky Ridge. Rocky Ridge, a true paradise far from the big city bustle. A new development just outside Night City. Rocky Ridge isn't just a place to call home without breaking the bank. First units already available for reservation. A prime location or easy commute thanks to the planned freeway extension. But it's also the first exciting breath of life in the area and the head headly promise of new jobs. Don't build your house on sand, build it in Rocky Ridge. Ooh, I, I, you just, right, can I just do my thing then? I can do my thing. There's probably nobody to talk to. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down. Nothing works here. Okay. 
just give me a second. Give me a sec. What? What? What did they do? Discuss the plan. Discuss the plan. Um. Yeah, we will discuss the plan once I've actually done a proper reconnaissance. I want to know what's what we got. Explosives. We got dumpsters. We got a whole heap of crap. And Scourge. Ooh, a mod. Nice. That really is the first use. Okay. Useful thing I've found. EMP grenades. Eradicator user manual. Dear user, as you know, rats, Rattus norvegius, vegius, norvegius, are the, norvegius, vegicus, um, are the prime carriers of dangerous diseases. The eradicator lets you deal with these lethal pests quickly and effectively. Can we use this? The eradicator contains explosives mixed with poison and trace amounts of radioactive material. Even the toughest rodents stand no chance. Spread the eradicator rounds around your house. If you wake up in the night to the sound of a wet pop, that means it worked. Okay, that's probably not that helpful. Probably not. Aha! Uh -huh. Stuff. Okay. Hmm. I can't jump up there. Can I? Because I'm too lazy to climb a ladder. Oh, oh, stuff over there. Too lazy to climb a ladder. But not too lazy to jump. All right, we've got a good view up here. Solar panels. Stuff. Plastic mask with filter. Phantom. Increased rate of fire. What is, what is, what is that? What is, what is that? Why can't I pick it up? It's probably just junk. All right. Let's. That's hers. Ah, we got stuff on the roof over there. We have got a lot of explosive tanks everywhere. I I, I don't know. I, I, I get the feeling the universe is dropping hints that it wants me to blow stuff up. Wraith's coat with improvised bulletproof... Okay, that looked kind of like... All right, and it's a lot better armor. Come on, be... Ooh, it's... Ooh, I mean, I like the style, but I... I, I... I mean, I don't hate that at all. I don't. It. I'm. I do do prefer the leather though. I'm. I just. I'm just. Yeah. I mean. It just. It's. It's. It's a. It's. It's not quite me. Probably goes well with the hat, doesn't it? Like the style. It's a lot better armor. Probably goes. I've been carrying. Well, I've got a lot of hats. Probably goes better with this hat. Same color. Got a whole, uh, yeah, leprechaun thing going on. Let's have a look at some of these other hat. Woo. Okay. Duh, yeah. Uh, let's go. Oh, now I'm not hating that. I am definitely not hating that. <laughs> I'm not hating that. No, I'm not. Definitely not hating that. Still think I'm preferring the old leather. I mean... Is it a bit much? <laughs> is, is it a little too much? It could be. It 
could be a little too much. I'm willing to take that chance right now. I just still prefer the leather. Next time I'm in town, I'm gonna scour the shops for a better leather jacket. Because, you know, I really need one later. Sorry, Jax, I'm out. Put these new fridges in under the bar, set up the kegs, taps are all flowing, head on the bro sieve, foaming up preem. Guess all you need is some customers, then we can talk. But seriously, as a friend, just sell the damn place, never gonna finish this town. They haze you good with the low rate mortgage. I know it, got a feel for that sort of thing. Anyway, you need something, hit me up on the horn. I'm going back to pouring brew in NC, bossy. Shame though, this place doesn't feel too bad. I mean, it's a little trashed right now, but... Oh, oh, what did I, oh no, that's the taxi service. There's actually somewhere to sell things here, which is cool. Yeah, you're missing a bit of floor here. Pathology of the Badlands. Have you ever dreamed of leaving the city for a life on the road? Has your child ever told you they dream of becoming a nomad adventurer? Mistake. The romanticization of these brave highway pirates is, a common, is as common as it is harmful. These drifters are not as mysterious or noble as you might think. No, in fact, they are no different from any criminal organization, although even organization may be a stretch. These wandering bands are no more than chaotic jumbles of trigger-happy anarchists roaming just outside the margins of civilization. Descended primarily from the largely extinct agrarian society of the Californias and beyond, these outsiders have rejected the amenities of modern of modernity and chosen instead a path of bloody revolt. They make rusted trucks and trailers their homes, denying themselves the basic necessities of running water and SCSMs. All of this squalor by choice. Is this yet proof enough of their insanity? Of course, they do manage to scrape together just enough to survive. How, you ask? Without factories, hotels, restaurants and bars, they attack us. The transports of weapons and food destined for our businesses and diner, dinner tables, as if not shamed enough already, they smuggle psychoactive drugs across our borders, even known murderers and rapists. It's true! Apparently it is. This man said so, so it must be. And even they themselves are known to whore themselves out for contract killings. Because, of course, the corpos never do anything like that. The bloodiest and most brutal that no one else would dare accept. You mean apart from the corpos? Who will pretty much brutally and in the bloodiest manner murder, torture, rape, pillage, everything in sight. You might think these self-proclaimed rebels, these fighters for a cause, would have some semblance of camaraderie. We do. Nothing could be further from the truth. These scattered gangs of vagabonds and drifters are divided into dozens, if not hundreds, of smaller subgroups who are at each other's throats more often than not. One d Yeah, because corpos are not doing the exact same thing. They're all living in perfect harmony with each other and not totally backstabbing each other at every turn. One day they unify to hijack a textile transport. The next they murder each other in cold blood as they sleep. Even their children join in the bloodbath. While our kids receive games and toys for their birthday, theirs are given rifles and rusty blades. You don't, they're not that rusty. Uh, you don't blame the children, blame the parents for depriving them of a happy, fulfilling future. And for what? Some illusion of freedom, obscured by a shroud of resentment and envy. Each of them has the potential to become a future technician, netwatch agent, or even CEO. Although probably not, because we need a damn sight more slaves than we need masters, right? Am I right? I'm right. But instead they'll die alone in the desert, buried under the sand. All for a couple of ennies or pouch of drugs. Still have romantic dreams of the Badlands? I didn't think so. Well, I do now. I have very romantic dreams about them just because of you. Very annoying person. Okay. Well, have you found anything? Mm, not much. Um, it's pretty desolate. I got nada. You have an epiphany? The Raffins will roll in after dusk, right? We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. So we plug it back in. 
Let's check the substation. You got it. Okay. There wasn't a lot going on there, but maybe you're more technically minded than than me. Oh, there 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 is a gap. You don't have to go. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Controls. Power flow to the control station. Ah. Uh, okay. Right. R restores. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Okay. Excellent. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Uh, they... You tend to the power stay with the sh... Uh, think they'll fall for it? A diversion? I like the, I like the idea. I do, it's a good idea. So, classic route. Good old diversion. You know it. First, we don't know how many are coming. My thinking is it'll be a sizable crew. Second, we have to create an opening to get to my car. If they're bunched together, we won't stand a chance. So we give them a little light show at the intersection? Yes. We'll breathe some life into this dusty old town. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First, we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. All right, you want me to wait here? All right, I can do that. If we've got to wait till dusk, then we've pretty much got the rest of the day because it's barely even dawn. I'm, I'm thinking I might just have a quick look around while we're waiting. You know, check that ripper dock. Call my car, sell some stuff. Okay, don't get run over. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. Oh yeah, I was have to get it up and run. thinking the same thing. Grab the jumper cables from the truck. We'll boost it from the car battery. Right, excellent. Yes. Glad she knows what she's doing. Um, car battery cable. Don't. Okay. I don't know why. Don't steal the lady's ammo. That would be rude. Oh, okay. No, no. Uh, do you want? Do I have to connect it here first? Okay, I'm going to admit it. I'm not the most technical person, okay? I hit things very hard. That usually works for me. And... I'm connecting the wiry Break thing. Cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. Okay. And done. Now the black rattler. That would be the negative cable. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Ooh. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. I'm trying to stand. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. Stop the tower. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Sure, yes, ma'am. Just tie my shoelaces. Oh, thank you. Right. Okay. So... We just want to do this right now. We want to do this right now. Activate. Are we Are we sure we want to do this right now? Local network. Okay. Messages? No message. Substation. From Winona Evans to Alejandro El Gaza. Uh, please let me know where we stand on the substation. Can't we just cut it off locally? W. As I said before, I can disconnect it locally, but I can't promise some drifter won't come back next month and hook it back up. And then all will be left holding the tab for squatter removal and power theft. Leaving it up to you. Save some money today and... Okay. I probably could have figured this out had I checked the terminal. And then really impressed it with my technical knowledge. Yeah, she would never have fallen for that anyway. All right. Okay. I am... Um, restore power. Okay. Doing it. Doing it. Doing it. Which gear's got power? Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. 
All right, you're going to want me up there. But aren't we waiting for dusk? Now we wait. It, I'm, I'm, it's just, it's 6.33 a.m. And you did say we're waiting for dusk. And frankly, hanging around doing nothing sort of sounds dull. I'm, I'm just thinking I might, what's, see we got, we got things going on. There's a ripper dock over there and apparently there's something going on over there. Where the hell? There. Are you totally married to this, like, hang around, do nothing plan? Really? I can't call my car out here? I can't call my car out here. It's not that far. It's just, it is 6.40 a.m. I'm... Not going to spend the entire day cooking on a roof. I mean, I don't mind taking a few hours rest before the attack. That's probably a good idea. She's not going to let me borrow her car. Did I see any other cars? I did not. <sighs> this is probably a very... Is that a car? Probably a car wreck, right? Almost certainly a car wreck. I didn't check this. Oh, God, yeah, those are total wrecks. Oh, fine. Ah, shit. My name is Dakota. Smith. Okay. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. What nation you ride with, Dakota? The Aldecaldos, but I do not ride anymore. I'm V. Rode with the backers. You rode? Past tense. And now? Now I don't. I see. We will be in touch, V. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm guessing that pain was nothing to do with her. It's just coincidence when she contacted me and drop by if you ever want to talk or if you don't want to talk we can just sit together in silence okay that sounds really fun either way i'm here for you brother oh i like her out of curiosity where where is Shh, i have a gecko for sale okay it's got a certain something, especially for out here, out of curiosity, how, you know, how expensive is it? Oh, God, it's miles away as well. It's, this is, I can't, it, right. Med point, buy medical. Oh, okay, this, yeah, uh, I'll look into it. I probably, uh, just, you know, yeah, um. Okay, what have we got out here? We have got... Somebody scanning the horizon. Probably wanna... What have we got? Come on. Okay, I am never gonna get there unseen. Hiding behind a bloody bush. Oh, it's Militech. What are Militech doing? Out here. Infantry scout. Recon support. What? Oh, they got cars, though. What is Militech doing out here? Let's... And, hello. What is that? That's trouble. And as are you by the looks of things. Neutralize the perps, secure the evidence. All right. Well, a bunch of corpos out in the desert. 
They're bound to be up to no good, right? Definitely on. Drop your oh, I can't drop them. They're connected to me. Oh. Okay. Oh. Robot. All right, you've got a little meal for sale. That's nice. I'll, I'll check it out later. Probably let's... Oh, no, that one I might want to check out. That one I might actually want to check out. Really, that does look... All right. So what were these corpos up to? Hygiene bag. All right. What were they up to out here? Skill shot annihilation. Whoa! Gain XP for the annihilation skill. Eh, okay, that's that's nice. Born Wraith Neo. To, uh, got a feeling not really my kind of thing. And then archive. That on the other hand is my kind of thing. Right, archive conversation. Militech. Militech first class, tracked another bug. Area and links secured. Sergeant, all enemy personnel neutralized, neutralized. Search the area, collect data. See if you can find any more of the bastards. The wraiths need to vanish for good. Copy that. Okay, so they're... Tracking down wraiths and taking them out. Stress ball. Report, read it quick, it ain't good. Boss, got that Militech broadcast. To be blunt, it's uh, messed up. They're moving into the Badlands, want to take over the whole region. The orders I managed to decipher say they want to push us farther from the city. Main objective is to secure the border, get a handle on smuggling. So they're back tilting windmills again. Okay. There. Wait, what the? I did not. I didn't. Sequence required to upload. I didn't want to upload. I wasn't trying to jack in to the damned radio. I was just going to turn it off. Is it... Oh. You fail at turning things on and off, basically. If you're planning on spending more time in the Badlands, I've just the car to suit your needs. An all-terrain Mitsu... Mitsutani Shion. It might look like a fuel-guzzling beast. That's a plus point. You said that like it was a negative. But it could drive over a field of nails and broken glass like... Freshly paved asphalt. It pains me to part with it, but such is the nomad's lot. We cannot get attached to anything. That looks really nice. I, I want that. I, if I buy that, will I be able to call it out here? Will I be able to call it out? Where is it? Where can, that looks closer. That looks closer. It's 7 a.m. I could get that. How much is it going to cost me, though? That's the million dollar question. How much is it going to cost me? Is that going to put back my plans to get more chrome? And all things considered, is it worth it? Because that did look nice. And I loved everything she said about it. And I do mean everything she said about it. Okay, would I be pushing my luck if I drove around the Badlands in an armoured Militech vehicle? I mean, I'd probably be pushing my luck if I drove around in a Wraith pickup as well. And honestly, this is speaking to me. It's... It's beefy. It, it says, I am tough. It says... Cactus. What cactus? Yeah, I mean... Definitely. All right. You know what? I'll handle any 
shut. Okay, okay. Right, this thing kind of handles like a cow. Not that I've ever driven a cow before. Why do people say that? Okay, I'm getting a bit more used to it. It's just... Okay. I might not be getting quite as used to it as I thought. All right, fine, fine. It can take it. It can handle it. It's a tough vehicle. Where the hell am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I want to go and check out the Ripper Dock over there. Okay. Right. Not much of a handbrake turn either. The thing slides when you don't want it to slide. And refuses to slide. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is definitely not my f greetings, brother. Would you would you happen to be looking for a new cup? That is Dakota, you're killing me here. 